Hello, I'm just finishing. Pardon? I can't talk because I've got a hook in my mouth, but I'm just finishing. Okay, so I head up then? Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah, love you. Love you too, bye. Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how I got this hooked mermaid Halloween look. I hope you enjoy this video, but before we carry on, make sure that you smash a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more of my content. And let's just get into the video. I'm gonna get my eyebrows out the way first. As you can see, they're a bit purple right now, but I think it looks really nice with this look when it's finished. So for my brows, I'm just taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is in the shade black, and I'm just gonna start outlining the shape of my eyebrows. So that's the normal shape that I would have for my everyday brows. So I'm just kind of sketching that out with this pencil. Oh, by the way, guys, I just want to point this out to you. My eye is dyed pink because I have actually filmed this video already today, but it didn't go to plan. Well, it didn't not go to plan. It just wasn't to the quality that I wanted it to be. So I'm refilming it, which is why I've got like crazy color stains on my eyelid, but it's because I've already done this entire look and sometimes makeup kind of like stains my face. I'm not sure why. To finish my brows, I'm taking the Morphe 35B palette and I'm just dipping into this bright purple shade here and I'm just tapping that over my brows. So I'm gonna keep dipping back into the palette to make sure that we've got enough product and I'm literally just following roughly the shape of my eyebrow. So I've just cleaned up my eyebrow a little bit. I just got a piece of tissue which I used some of my oil spray on and I literally just wiped around the edges and got rid of like the excess shadow that was kind of like going over the shape of my eyebrow. So now I'm gonna come in and set an eyeshadow base using my EX1 Delete Fluid Concealer. So I use this in the shade 3.0, but 3.0 is definitely a little bit light for me, but I only really use it as an eyeshadow base anyway, really. So. I don't mind it being that little bit lighter. I'm just painting that over my eyelid and being careful to carve out my eyebrows as well. Just to make them look nice and tidy. Just taking a bit underneath my eye as well. And then I'm grabbing my Morphe 35B palette again and I'm dipping straight into this blue colour here. So I'm going to tap in quite a few times to make sure that I get loads of product on the brush. And then I'm just going to start pressing this colour kind of like along the natural shape of my crease. So kind of like in this half moon shape. And I'm just packing as much colour on as I can. And then I'm just taking a different brush, which is the brush that I'm using for purple. So I'm dipping into that same purple which we use for the eyebrows, and I'm just continuing on from this blue by pressing this purple in the exact same way as we did the blue. So I'm gonna keep coming back, getting extra product, and go pressing it on for extra pigment and I'm literally just building that up until I feel like it's as purple as I want it to be. And then I'm taking a different brush again and I'm dipping into this green colour here. But it kind of comes out like a nice like turquoisey green. So I'm using that to blend out the edges. Just try and soften this a little bit which we're gonna do more with a fluffier brush in a second. And then I'm taking this fluffy blending brush and I'm dipping into that same turquoisey green and I'm just going to softly blend around the edges using circular motions. And then with the purple, I'm just coming under and putting that on the lower lash line as well. And I'm also taking a bit of the blue. It's that navy blue color there that I'm using. Just trying to 
blend this with this fluffy shading brush. Okay, so I'm coming in with more of that EX1 concealer and I'm just gonna cut half of my crease. Okay, so I've cut half of the crease. So I'm gonna come in with a single eyeshadow pan that I've got, which I'm gonna use for the lid color. So it's this turquoise shimmer shadow that I'm using for the lid. I'm literally just taking a little pointy brush by Iconic London, and I'm just gonna pack that onto the lid using this brush. So I just thought that this was the perfect color. Like if there's one thing that this color makes me think of, it's mermaid. So I just thought this is the perfect lid color for this look. Okay, so I'm taking the tiniest bit more of that purple and I'm just gonna use that to kind of like blend the outer corner in with this new turquoise shimmer. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the glitter. So this glitter I literally just got from Amazon. It's literally just a random glitter. It's just got kind of like a mixture of different shapes and different sizes of glitter. And it comes with like a gel gluey fixer sort of thing as well. So it's worked really well for this side of my face. So I'm really happy with this. I can't remember how much it was, but I will link it down below so that you guys can definitely go and buy it if you want it. But to begin with, I'm just gonna take this fixer and I'm just gonna start dotting some glue over the side of my eyes. So I'm not doing too much at the moment. I'm literally just pressing some onto the back of my finger and I'm pressing it down on my face. I'm also just taking some up onto my shadow as well and I'm just pressing some up there as well also don't be afraid to use tweezers for it as well because obviously you can get like a really precise placement with tweezers so i was using some tweezers to be fair earlier but i just found it a little bit easier with my finger so yeah i'm gonna leave that as it is and then to finish off the eye look i'm just gonna put some mascara on my lashes so i'm taking the full seas mascara by maybelline and i'm just coating my top lashes with that just getting them ready to stick some eyelashes on. In the distance, by the way, guys, someone's just started fireworks. The only night ever that I decide to film a video. And there's fireworks, of course there is. But if you hear loads of popping, that's what it is. It's fireworks in the background because my neighbors just hate me. Okay, and then for my lashes, the ones that I'm using for this look are Peaches and Cream Lashes in the style number eight. So it's the first time I've actually used these lashes. I ordered them a while ago. I was really hesitant to try them, to be honest, because they're actually really cheap. I'm pretty sure they're like £4.50 or something like that, but they're the first lashes that I've got from there and I am actually really happy with them. I do like them. You know, they're really wispy and they've got a really thin lash band as well so it's like really kind of like natural when you put them on i'm just going to stick them down with some house of lashes glue and um, i'm just waiting for that to dry down for a second before i put it on seriously can't believe that i'm filming this video for a second time like it's not as bad when it's a normal video but when it's like a full-on costume like you're doing a full-on dress up it's a really long process so it's really annoying that i'm having to film again but i want it to be perfect at the moment i really feel like i only want to be putting out content that i'm really proud of and that i'm proud to show you guys so i just thought i'll redo it it's just really irritating when you have to do that but to be fair i watched a video yesterday um i don't know how many of you guys subscribed to uh shaney grimman I don't know if I said that right, but basically she's an Australian YouTuber, but she put up a video the other day about like, it was like a vlog style video and it was showing a day in the life of an influencer. And I felt so comforted by that video when I watched it because she just shows that like sometimes her videos just do not go to plan. And even though that's her full time job and obviously that's her profession, it kind of just showed me that, you know, YouTubers do have off days. You know, there are going to be days where you spent fucking hours on a look and it just doesn't come out right. And that's OK, because I always really beat myself up over it if I have to refilm a video or something. But it, I found it really, really comforting to see someone 
someone like and who you know does do this as a career as a full-time career um it was yeah it was nice to see that i'm not the only one that messes up my videos sometimes or just isn't not even messes them up just isn't happy with them sometimes so i'm just sticking on this lash only thing with these lashes is they're the worst to stick in the inner corners like i know it's hard anyway to stick the inner corners and the outer corners they're obviously the toughest part to get to stick but seriously like the inner corners just do not want to play yeah i'm gonna put some more glue on that because i really want it to just stick in the video that i filmed earlier it kind of like unstuck whilst i was doing the rest of my face and it annoyed me so much so i'm just making sure that that's stuck as well as it can be so guys what are your plans for halloween do you actually like have any parties or anything planned I remember when I used to go to school and like when I was at college and stuff, there'd always be Halloween parties. But now, like I'm only 20, I'm still pretty young. But now I just feel like there's no motives for Halloween. Like what do you actually do? Because like I actually want to go out trick or treating or something. If I'm getting dressed up, if I'm going through the effort, I just feel like there's not much you can do at this age for Halloween apart from just go out. Not just out, I mean out, out. You know what I mean. This lash has seriously got a problem with me and I just wanted to fucking say if there's an issue, like why won't it stay? okay so that lash is really trying to play me but i'm gonna leave it as it is for now and then i'm gonna sort it at the end so i'm gonna get you guys zoomed out because the eyes are done so we're gonna move on to liquid latex and the scarier part of the tutorial so i'm gonna zoom you guys out and i'll be back in a second so i've got you guys zoomed all the way out please excuse my chest i'm not injured it's just as i say i did it earlier and fake blood stains like a motherfucker so you know i just thought there's not much i can do i'm having a bath after i film this video so it will come off then the reason that my hair is scraped back is because i'm going to be wearing a wig for this outfit anyway so i just thought get the hair out the face so to prep my skin i've already applied my oil based spray which provides like a barrier between my skin and the makeup so that's how i wear makeup normally but i just put a little bit extra on in situations like this where i'm going to be putting kind of like a lot of water based products on my face so i've prepped my face with the spray and then i'm going to start getting this foundation onto my face so this is the mac studio fix fluid in the shade nc38 so that's just my normal color so i'm getting some of that onto the back of my hand and i'm literally just going to apply it all over my face as i usually would if i was doing my usual makeup so before you guys start like asking why i would do like a halloween look and you know why i'd put fake blood and stuff on my face when i know my skin is so sensitive but the reason that i do it is because my allergic reactions happen multiple times a day anyway like they are going to happen whether i'm wearing makeup or not you know i'm always going to come across a situation where my skin is going to have a reaction like whether that's when i wash my face in the morning if it's when i wash my face before bed you know there is always the ongoing possibility of me having an allergic reaction at any time you know allergic reactions to me are at the point where they're kind of like inevitable now i just feel like if i choose to let one of my allergic reactions for that day be because I've done a makeup look then I'm happy with that because regardless of whether I've done the makeup look or not I'm still going to have allergic reactions in that day I'm still going to be in pain at some point in that day so I may as well get something out of it and I may as well work and get things done out of it obviously i appreciate that like some people are just concerned about my skin and you know some people just feel like i shouldn't do makeup and i shouldn't do this and i shouldn't do that but it's just something that i feel quite strongly about like i have to allow myself to have fun and do things that i enjoy and there's so many of those things that have been removed from my life because of my skin condition so i refuse letting makeup one of my favorite things in the entire world be one of the things that i miss out on like seriously like i'm not here to just suffer 24 7 so i've pretty much done my foundation now so i'm gonna get moving on to the liquid latex i've got tissue and i've got liquid latex so i'm gonna start by ripping the tissue into strips so just thin strips like that so i'm just gonna do a couple of sheets of tissue so i'm just gonna take this foundation brush and put some liquid latex on it and i'm just gonna start kind of painting a strip of liquid latex onto my face and then I'm just going to put a strip of tissue over that. I'm just ripping the bits that I don't really want, so the bits that are kind of like hanging over and I'm literally just going to keep painting on liquid latex, so nice and slowly. 
as this dries and my mouth gets stiffer, I'm going to have to add voiceovers to this video. So I'm going to gradually stop talking now so that you guys can just listen to the voiceovers and watch what I'm doing. So I'm just going to carry on painting on liquid latex and trying to lay that tissue as flat to my face as possible. And then I'm going to keep adding strips of tissue until I have about four or five layers of tissue and liquid latex down on my face. So you just keep repeating the same two steps until you feel that it looks right. Then I'm grabbing a hairdryer and I'm going to blow a low heat over the liquid latex to make sure it's dry and set well. This might take a little while so don't worry if you're sat there for a good 10 minutes before it feels dry enough. Then with a Bleach London blending sponge, I'm applying the MAC Studio Fix Foundation, which I used for my face earlier. I'm literally just dabbing that over where I've applied the liquid latex. It's not going to look the right colour to match with your skin because you're applying it over the white, which makes the foundation show up lighter. So I'm coming in with some concealers which are close to my skin tone. So personally, I'm using a Morphe 20 CON concealer palette and I'm just adding the different tones to the liquid latex, which which helps to blend it with my natural skin tone a little bit better and makes it look a little bit more natural. After doing that, I'm taking this pair of Morphe brow scissors and I'm cutting a little hole in the fake skin, which I'm going to feed the fishing hook through. This is going to rip the fake skin a little bit, but don't worry, it's fine because we're going to clean it up by adding some more liquid latex and tissue to it to make the hole a little bit tighter around the fishing hook. By the way, this hook I literally made out of tin foil because I bought some hooks online but they turned up and they were literally the size of my fingernail so I had to DIY it. After I've applied the extra liquid latex and tissues, I'm drying that down with the hair dryer and repeating the exact same steps as before to colour and blend it with my skin. Then I'm going to add some scales which I'm using some old fishnet tights for. I'm literally putting it on like a hat and I'm literally just going to apply bright colours from the Morphe 35B palette to create a fish scale effect on my forehead. I'm also going to pull the fishnet tights down to cover my cheeks and I'm also going to apply multicoloured scales along my cheekbones too. Then I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Love Conquers All palette. I literally got this as a free gift when I bought something from Makeup Revolution a while back. But the colours in here are ridiculous. They're so pigmented. I'm taking this pink highlight shade and I'm applying it as I usually would. So that's on my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. I'm also adding some to the scales on my forehead as well because it gives them a nice shine which adds to the fish-like effect. Then I'm taking this blonde wig which is just a £35 cheap synthetic one and I'm putting it on without using glue because I don't want it to stay on for hours because I'm not going out like this but if you're going to a party or something like that then I definitely set the wig down with some got to be glued gel. Then lastly I'm adding some Meron stage blood I think that's how you say it. So this blood is edible so it just tastes like syrup which is obviously a nice surprise if it gets in your mouth which let's face it fake blood always does and I'm just using one of my concealer brushes to apply this to my mouth area where I've been hooked or caught by the fishing hook and that is it an easy but effective hooked mermaid costume so as always don't forget to subscribe smash a thumbs up and comment if you like this costume and I'll see you guys in the next video Hello, I'm just finishing. Pardon? 
I can't talk because I've got a hook in my mouth, but I'm just finishing. Okay, can I head up then? Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah, love you. Love you too, bye.